Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to Mashup Math. My name is Anthony, and thank you for joining me on this mini lesson. Let's just go ahead and check it out. Hello again. Thank you for joining me on this lesson where we are going to explore scientific notation. So let's start with the question, what is scientific notation? So let's start with a definition and then work from there. Scientific notation is a way of expressing numbers that are either too big or too small to be conveniently written in decimal form. Let's take a look at a really big number. The population of the state of Arizona is 7,200,000 people. And now we can ask, how can I use scientific notation to express this value? Now, if you remember from our definition, we're talking about numbers that can't be expressed conveniently in decimal form. And thinking about this number as a decimal, we can just add a 0, 0.0 to the end as a placeholder for now. We do this because scientific notation requires that we figure out the number of place values in between the decimal and the first non-zero digit, in this case, 7. So now we can go ahead and count how many place values there are in between. And we can see in this example, there are six place values. So that number six, that total number of place values is an important number. And we're going to keep that close by to use in a few moments. Now we can imagine moving that original decimal point to the left until it is in front of that first non-zero digit, again, in this case, the seven. Now, when we're using scientific notation, we can now get rid of all of the zeros that come after the last non-zero digit. So in this case, all the zeros that come after the value of two. So now we have a much cleaner, much smaller, and much more manageable 7.2. But what about all of those zeros? Scientific notation allows us to replace those zeros with multiplying by the value of 10 raised to a power. In this example, the power is 6, which represented the total number of place values we moved the original decimal point. And we should note that whenever we are using scientific notation, we are multiplying by the value of 10 raised to a power. There will never be a different value other than 10 in that spot. So now let's take on another example of an even bigger number, in this case, 29,700,000,000. So this is nearly 30 billion. This is a very, very large number. And we want to use scientific notation to rewrite this value in a more convenient way. So again, we can add 0, 0.0 to the end of the value as a placeholder so that we can visualize where that decimal point would be. And now we have to figure out how many place values are in between the decimal and the first non-zero digit, in this case, the 2. So in this example, we could see that there are 10 place values in between the decimal and the first non-zero digit. And now we can remove all of the zeros that come after the last non-zero digit, in this case, the 7. So now we have 2.97 times 10 raised to a power of 10, which again was the number of place values that we had to move the original decimal. So really, all that we did here was use scientific notation to rewrite 29,700,000,000 in a smaller and more convenient way. So take some time to think about the procedures and the concepts involved with scientific notation as you continue your exploration of using it to rewrite very large and very small numbers in an easier way. And I'll see you all next time. All right, so that's it for this lesson. Thank you again for stopping by. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please click that link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave a thumbs up and a comment on this video. We could really use your support. And also, don't forget to sign up for our weekly newsletter. When you join our mailing list, 
You get a free ebook download as well as weekly resources, tips, insights, and some cool contests and giveaways as well. So don't miss out on that. There's a link on this page you can click to join the mailing list and that's all you have to do. So thank you so much again for stopping by and for all your support and I will see you all next time. Bye.